Welcome to the Swamp Chat, brothers and sisters. I'm your host, Steve Vest. This story starts in the fall of 1970 in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I was down at Piedmont Park. I've been sitting in with the Almond Brothers down there playing a couple of tunes. And uh, Dwayne said, Steve, he said, I got Biker Jim here now with me as my, my sidekick. And, and uh, Jim, uh, Dwayne said, Steve, he said, I got a surprise for you. Come on, man, we're going down to the to the strip. We're going down to the yeah. underground uh, uh, newspaper, the Great Speckled Bird. <clears throat> this was a hippie underground newspaper uh, that was printed out on the Atlanta Strip. And uh, I just uh, uh, done a gig with B.B. Uh, uh, King, Muddy Waters, T-Bone Walker, and Howlin' Wolf in a club called Hot Atlanta in underground Atlanta. And I thought, well, maybe... Uh, uh, Dwayne's gotten wind of that, so he's got something in store for me. So on the way down there, uh, Dwayne starts talking about Ronnie Van Zant, and he says, you know, and, and Dwayne says, uh, you know, uh, uh, Steve, uh, Ronnie's just like me. He commands his band yeah. through his eyes, and he can bring that music down and raise that music back up using his eyes. And then, uh, you know, I said, Dwayne, you know, the thing I love about you is I can talk to you about music, and the only other person in my life that I could do that with was Rick Nesmith back in Jacksonville. Well, Dwayne turns around to me and gives me this strange look, and he says, Rick, he's brilliant. He says, Steve, he's so intelligent that he understands the rudiments, he understands the measures automatically yeah. in his brain, you know. He's, well, he's a natural just like all of us. And if he sets his mind to it, he's going to be a producer one day, and, uh, you know, that was Dwayne's prediction about Ricky. Well, I'm here to tell you, fans, that Rick Nesmith is a singer-songwriter. He's a guitarist as well as a bass player. He's played with Randall Hall, and uh, he plays with his own band, Cloud Nine, and he has his own studio today. Isn't that an amazing prediction, brothers and sisters? I'll see you at the next Swamp Chat. Jim and I'll see you. See you.